Welcome to Shop Foreman Garage. Today we are looking at this 1995 OBS Ford F-150 pick'em up truck. <laughs> oh no. Now that truck, uh, I have some big plans for what's gonna actually happen with it. Uh, I don't know for sure, but um, I, there's, there's kind of a place in my heart for that truck. So my grandpa, he drove Ford F-150s all the time. Uh, I think that, you know, I, I don't know how many generations of Ford F-150s he drove, but I would not be surprised if, you know, if he didn't own, he at least drove a um, at least uh, 10 generations of Ford F-150s um, and he didn't boast about it he was a Ford guy you know I grew up a, a Chevy guy in my family you know Chevy GM Pontiac you know was my deal or whatever uh, but I, I've you know ended up you know just uh, loving the the technology and just everything that goes in it in, in every vehicle um, but my grandpa, he was a Ford guy. He wouldn't boast about it, but uh, he always had a new Ford F-150. And he was his work truck. It was his play truck. He owned a farm. He had um, an, or an orchard and uh, he had cows. He, we would bale hay. He had a Ford Ferguson tractor that did all the work on the farm. Uh, he had a Ford car. He always had a, a Ford car, and that was his, that was his going to church rig. And I uh, had put the whole family in there and go to church. But his truck, that thing, I mean, it pulled everything. He had a boat that he would pull. He had a travel trailer. He had a fifth wheel. Um, uh, he would pull a travel trailer behind the truck and he would pull the boat behind the travel trailer and <laughs> and i remember one time he um he had that travel trailer boat rig set up and we were going fishing we were going on amazing fishing trips and he was a fisherman and um i mean i was just a little kid but i remember one time we we uh took off we got about five miles from the house and then the truck just it just stopped it wouldn't go anymore and uh my grandpa he walked all the way back to the farm got that ford ferguson tractor and brought it and he hooked it up to the truck and he pulled the truck and the travel trailer and the boat all the way back to the house and uh he got the truck going and uh, we went fishing uh, what was wrong with the truck it, well somehow some way somebody kicked the transfer case into neutral i, I don't know I, I was just a little kid but um that truck um it it means something to me and even though it's not my truck um just to get that thing running and back out on the road again um i would like to do right by that truck uh, for my grandpa this truck is in great shape for 95 OBS I mean you look at these panels if you can see them and it is straight there is absolutely no rot on this at all it is in really really good condition it has a bed liner in there there's a cat-eye converter uh, we don't need that couple dents not nothing wrong this this tailgate it's good straight absolutely no rot at all no rust it's in really good condition it's got the, for the blinder so you don't get the sun in your eyes But all around, a really nice old body pickup. 
Interior is not bad, not bad at all. Got these seat covers, you can feel there's it's a good amount of, looks like somebody spray painted the inside, <laughs> but it's good. So this truck belongs to a buddy of mine, Hector. And over here, the sun's not in everybody's eyes. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna tell you what he's done to this vehicle so far. Uh, really can't get it right. It's, uh, it's got one of these dreaded EFI Ford systems in it. And uh, he's done a lot of work on it. What, what have you done to this thing? So for starters, I got to replace the battery because it was old, wouldn't start the truck. Once I got the truck running, it just felt like it had absolutely no power. So down to the basics, starting with plug, spark plug wires and plugs. Uh, noticed some wires over here were right on the manifold and got burned, so I had to replace those. Then as time kept going, you know, still had no power. Um, ended up replacing the intake plenum gasket and exhaust manifold gasket. It just felt like I had a leak somewhere. Still no power. Um, ended up replacing the EGR valve because it was stuck. Um, ended up replacing the EVR, I believe that's what it's called, which is the electronic inside of the EGR. Uh, vacuum lines, they were just old and rotted and breaking apart everywhere. Ended up getting the uh, fuel pressure regulator because it looked like it was stuck but couldn't really get the right answer. So I went ahead and replaced that and still got no power going to this baby. So you did some stuff, some work with the timing, right? Trying to get the timing yes, set up right and everything. Definitely timing was a big thing. Uh, finally got the timing correct, but absolutely no power whatsoever. Yeah, so with everything that he's done to this thing, it still, it, it, ain't, it ain't running right. So uh, you wanna try and start it up and see, yeah. see if we can get it started? Gotta get the jump box on the brand new battery there. That's good. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it's got a misfire, like a dead misfire. Did you say that you checked the compression on this? Yeah, after, um, so getting the timing down, I was able to get the truck running, you know, just around the block, and that's as far as I can go. Uh, I would notice that the catalytic converter would start glowing red, so decided to do the cheap option, cut it and hollow it out. <laughs> um, yeah, it's always a good idea. <laughs> After that, the truck could drive a little bit further, but just absolutely had no power. Um, ended up doing a compression test and got low compression in all cylinders. About 100 PSI was, was the average on all cylinders. Okay. So we're here asking you guys, what do you think we should do with this vehicle? It's a good truck. It's a nice, solid, uh, straight vehicle and um, Thinking about uh, replacing the engine, doing engine swap, maybe. Um, I know uh, Hector had his eye on uh, uh, LT1. I think that we should probably pull this engine out and rebuild it. Um, but this EFI system, this this has to go. It just doesn't seem to work. So we're thinking about putting a uh, carburetor on it and. Uh, um, uh, intake manifold, mm -hmm. you think? Yeah, just do a, uh, oh, a nice or, old basics carburetor. Or maybe a um, a uh, another fuel injection system, maybe a uh, um, Holly fuel injection or, or something like that. Some kind of standalone system. But um, it's a good truck. Let us know what you think. What do you think we should do with this vehicle? Run around down in the comments below. If you have a vehicle like this that you've dealt with you know problems with the EFI system you know how to fix this just run around down in the comments just let us know and we'll get back to you we'll do something with this truck we're gonna do something with this truck we're gonna fix it we're gonna get up on back on the road yeah Hector is thinking about selling it but 
I, I don't think we should do that. It's, <laughs> it's a good, it's a good truck. It really is. Um, so yeah, let us know what do you think, and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. See you in the next one.